Hey y'all, welcome back to the homestead. Now just recently, I got an offer to be able to work with my dad for our soon-to-be neighbors. But that means I won't be able to post videos regularly for a little while. Now I'm not quitting. I'm probably just not going to be able to post videos as regularly. And they might be a little less edited, just some videos set to music. But I'm not quitting. Now today I was going to be making a video on sustainable chicken food so you don't have to go to the feed store anymore. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Me and my mom did make this really cool little chart though. Here it is. It's basically just a bunch of things you can do for sustainable chicken food. So tell us all in the comments below if you'd like to see Caleb put a much nicer printable version of that on his Etsy shop. Before I go here, real quick, I'm going to give you all some quick tips to make sure your chickens stay happy and healthy. First of all, make sure your chicken yard is dry. If your chicken yard gets really wet and mucky, if you live in a place like Missouri, your chickens have a pretty good chance of getting leg mites. And although leg mites may seem like they don't do a whole lot right at first, they in general lower the egg production and lifespan of your chickens. And the best way you can keep your chicken yards dry is just by putting a lot of stuff in it like wood chips, sawdust, leaves, and hay. Also, it's good to make sure they have good predator protection. Now, even if the predators, like let's say hawks, aren't actually killing your chickens, whenever they fly over, often they'll freak out your chickens. And if your chickens don't have a good spot where they can run to and feel safe, it'll stress them out and make them lay less eggs. It's also good to have routine and feed your chickens at roughly the same time every day. And if you're looking for a way to give your chickens a little bit more minerals, I highly recommend C90. Just put it in a little container in their coop so they can get it whenever they want it. Also, having a dust bath for your chickens is great for their health. We just normally use ashes from our stove, but you do need to somehow put it in their coop or make some sort of dust bath shelter to put the ashes under or else it'll get washed away by the rain. And make sure your chickens have fresh, clean water because that helps their egg production. And if you put apple cider vinegar in it like once a week, that can help boost their health. And it's also good to make sure your chickens have grit. Now grit is basically just little rocks to help chickens digest their food. Now Missouri, we have little rocks everywhere. So if you live somewhere like Missouri, you don't really have to worry about it. But if you live somewhere where there's not a whole lot of little rocks everywhere, it would be good to give your chickens some grit. And last but not least is making sure your chickens have a reliable source of protein. Now just recently I gave my chickens some dehydrated black soldier fly larvae from Grubterra and they seem to really like that. But be careful, don't open up the bag in your house, it kind of stinks. If you're interested in more information about Grubterra's dehydrated black soldier fly larvae, check out the description below. Well, that's about all we got for you today. Thanks for watching, we play blessings over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your hung high.